love the sound of those crackling leaves. Hello everyone, welcome back to Shane Hunts. Although it is definitely not hunting season, it's a little bit more toasty out here right now. It still feels the same in here. It's still gray, it's still got those November, October hues. It kind of feels like it could be hunting season. It just makes you miss it all so much more. Recently saw an article that was posted by the Boone and Crockett people who had identified the top 15 whitetail regions projected for uh, trophy whitetails to be taken for the 2023 season and it was pretty exciting because we saw Alberta round out the 12th place uh, Overall in the world. It was really cool with Canada representing on two different uh, with two different regions We had a Saskatchewan coming in at 11th and then Alberta coming in at 12th if you're from the States plenty of uh, states to choose from but the top three I think rounding out was uh, Wisconsin always been the the place to be for, for monster whitetails. Indiana, obviously, you know that one as well. And I think the third one was Ohio. So if you're living in one of those three states, very envious of you, but regardless, uh, here in Canada, super excited to be living in one of the best, uh, one of the identified best whitetail regions in the world. I knew that, uh, and obviously, it's uh, it's just nice to be validated by someone that knows definitely a lot more about whitetails than I do. Regardless, thank you to everyone for coming back. Thanks for checking out the channel. For all the people that have subscribed to the channel so far, it's awesome. You guys are the best. We just hit 400 subscribers in Woo! January, I'm pretty sure. My goal for 2023 is to get that up to a thousand. So if I can hit a thousand by the end of 2023, I'll be a happy man. But if you can assist with that, please do. We'd love to have you along for the, for the ride. Check out our other videos if you're not quite sure yet and see if you like the vibe. Obviously, with the excitement that kind of goes along with Shane Hunts in the fall of last year, we were super excited and thought that uh, we were excited about the channel and the, the momentum that it was gaining. I decided that maybe we would, uh, if you have a keen eye, you might have seen this, but we would develop a little bit of a brand. And so maybe you've seen this, but we have developed a new Shane Hunts logo. Boom. So super exciting. Uh, it's uh, we love it. We think it's really cool. We took the next step kind of from there Obviously if you have a keen eye again You might have been able to see that I have a new hat if you see this Bam we got uh, some new Shane hunts hats in we're at a pretty limited quantity right now It's just Emma and I that have like the prototypes. I guess <laughs> we're looking at opening it up uh, Maybe a little bit more depending on people's interest and if if they are that's awesome And if not, that's that's totally cool, too. That's that's yeah, we can't ask much more than to have you guys just join along for the ride here on the channel. So far we have three different colors of the hats. Uh, we have this one, we have a black one. The black one's my favorite, it's kind of cool, it's casual, and I've always worn kind of black hats if you've seen the other black hats throughout a lot of my other videos. Um, so, I'm into the black. Um, you can kind of wear it anywhere, you can wear it in the woods, you can wear it uh, out to dinner and do kind of whatever with it. So then similar to the classic dad, uh, we have this guy too. So just a little bit of a color change up, the color scheme change up, uh, really cool contrast of the white uh, against the multicam back. And on the back you have just like this hat that I'm wearing. Uh, it's a snap and yeah, I like wearing it out like that. My girlfriend hates it, but that's cool. <laughs> we have this one. If you're not really into the vibe of the, the classic dad hats, that's cool too because we also have a trucker kind of um, style. We're still looking at different colors of both of them. So this one, uh, multicam, cool white contrast, and then it's a, it is a snapback, so lots of breathability, really cool hat if that's kind of what you're into. And we're looking at incorporating a couple of different colors, uh, knowing that a lot of our viewers actually are coming from uh, the States. So if you're from the States, shout out to you, thanks for watching. But we're gonna be looking at getting some blaze orange hats as well and acknowledging that here in Alberta, it's legal to wear camo while you're out and about hunting, but that's not necessarily the case everywhere. So yeah, tell us what you think. And if even in the comments, that'd be cool too. And we can kind of base, uh, base our next order around interest and uh, we can get those kind of um, shipped out to the people and into the hands of the people that 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 want to want to rep Shane hunts so on to the more important things obviously we're here in the woods I want to go check out we have two trail cameras uh, that we're gonna check today Emma and I had actually gone a little bit crazy uh, around Christmas time and we were buying trail camera on trail camera on trail camera ended up with uh, between the two of us now we have about 10 which to some people might sound like Ricky numbers but we've only ever run like four we're going deep deep into the woods uh, if you've watched our 
our videos from last year, you saw that um, maybe there, there were some places that were really getting pressured once hunting season came around, and I don't want that to be the case this year. I wanna find deer that no one's ever seen before. I'm looking for a 180 inch deer this year. I've been doing that for the past two years. This year we're doing things different. We're going deep. Today, we have one trail camera on this piece of property. This was the last place that I left on November 28th, 2022. There was a huge whitetail that was right in the vicinity of this camera. We left this camera out uh, on a whitetail scrape. I'm really hoping that, uh, that he's back, um, or at least that he passed on the, on the trail camera so that we can kind of get a better idea about what he was. We saw him from like, I think it was two, close to 200 yards away. So we never really got an idea about how big he was, but he was big. It was, it was clear and it was, I spent the rest of my season chasing after him after I saw him. Hopefully he stopped by the camera. And then the other camera I have, there was a really nice white tail that was, uh, that we actually got video of. We passed on him last year. He had that nice drop tie and he jumped the fence. It was some really cool footage. And uh, we didn't realize until after that he was a drop tie, but the frame just wasn't quite there. He wasn't quite big enough. It'll be interesting to see what he turns into this year. So um, enough out of me. Let's head into the woods. Let's check out that camera. Uh, and yeah, I'm surprised I haven't tripped over any sheds yet, to be honest. There's deer tracks everywhere. We got moose sign. Things are healthy back here and things are thriving. This is the place to be. So we're going to head back in there. Let's see if we can find some whitetails. Still a little bit spooky though. I purposefully came in the middle of the day knowing that not a whole lot of stuff would be moving around, i.e. cougars. Shane Hunts does not approve of cougars. I don't love being in cougar country without a firearm, but regardless, we got my bear spray, we're good to go. So hopefully no cougars decide to F-A-F-O, if you know what I'm saying. Or F-A-A-F-O, F-A-F-O, I don't know. Ooh, nice, look at this. We got a nice new scrape over here too. Baby, baby. I think we'll see some nice, is that a potato? What? No, not a potato, all good. We're not growing potatoes out here. We found my camera. We found my camera. No sheds yet, surprisingly. I literally thought I was gonna be tripping over them. Um, so here we are. This is kind of what I decided to go with. Um, camera right here, you see that? And then it was looking right directly across here all winter. We had this scrape and looks like the scrape was pretty active. It did beat that. They broke the branch right off here. That, that was the looking branch before. Uh, there's a fresh sign right on top of it. That's what you like to see. Something must have happened here. Let's check it out. Let's see what kind of uh, kind of critters were on this uh, on this camera. I didn't get a fancy iPad or anything, but um, Emma has this like cool little device here. This thing, it actually plugs right into the bottom of your phone. SD card can go right down there in the bottom, so you can check your you can check your photos right out in the field. So it saves some time uh, and some money from if you're not trying to buy a whole bunch of other SD cards and stuff. But I don't necessarily know if I totally recommend them because she's gone through probably like three, maybe four of these, and they all seem to break quite easily. Um, but here we are using them. So hopefully it works today. If it works today, I'll be happy with that. All right, let's see what we got here. Finally got it open. I think they're still loading actually. Yeah, let's, oh my gosh, good start. <laughs> Lots of photos. We're gonna let them do that for a sec. Woof, I think I saw something nice. <laughs> Uh, okay. So no sooner had I said maybe you shouldn't get this friggin' stupid thing um, that the photos disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. 
there was an, a link for it before. I've searched the entire phone a million times. I can't find it. I'm really hoping that the photos aren't deleted. I'll lose my mind. Um, we're gonna take this SD card with us. We'll pop in a, another SD card into this camera. This is the place for that camera. This is like, this is the place. The biggest thing is just trying to figure out where a tree stand could go or kind of contemplating the idea of doing like some saddle hunting in here. If anyone out there does any saddle hunting, if they'd recommend it or not, but um, just so many options for different tree setups. And if there is a big boy in here and uh, you really want to be careful about uh, pressuring and stuff, then it could be good just to kind of move around so you never really kind of know what to expect. Regardless, let's pop this camera in and head to the next spot. Love this. I left this. Uh, I left this camera out in November. Like I said, November 28th of last year, and the uh, batteries are still at. They're still full. It's always good to bring uh, some extra SD cards with you, and um, so you don't have to run back and forth to the house. I have two extra SD cards. The other camera I'm pulling, but this one, just switching out the SD card. Uh, we'll put it on. She's active. We're good to go. So this one will watch the woods for me while I'm away. I have a lot of faith in this spot. Again, I've said that so many times in my last videos over the fall of last year, but we'll leave this. Let's hope we got something on there. Let's head back to the next spot and see if we can find another monster buck. I really, really hope those photos aren't deleted. Ah. Hi everyone, we're back at uh, spot number two. Uh, if you remember spot number two, it's uh, last last year. This is the place that we saw, ended up seeing that really nice drop time, but we decided he was probably just a little bit too small, so we never ended up shooting. He was probably at 160, 180 yards. I never really got a good look at him until we looked back at the footage a little bit later, but still, the frame was just a little bit too small. The camera that we, so if you're, familiar with this this is kind of where we this is where he would have jumped the fence right around there we would have been way over down and beyond that uh, uh, tree line over there and that's kind of where we were set up but we have our camera right here uh, we'll go grab that camera this is a place that unfortunately this has been my go-to for the last few years but um, it seems that it's really kind of been undertaken from hunting pressure lately and you saw my videos last year my frustration with someone uh, they were shooting right alongside this field and stuff and by all means do your thing but it definitely puts a puts a lot of pressure on these whitetails and by the end of the season I wasn't seeing anything it was strictly coyotes and I think the coyotes have kind of moved in here and you can see that uh, some concrete evidence that Something's moving back here and the other half of the jaw is up there. Last fall I left out my bog pod. So I'm gonna go grab my bog pod too. Um, and then a couple of chairs. We'll get out of here. I am super pumped to look at those photos. Really hope they weren't deleted. So let's get going. Let's go get this camera. Let's get this stuff out of here. This looks a lot different in the, in the warmth. <laughs> I remember we were walking right across this field and it was like minus 40 and today it's like 500 degrees it seems like now it just like spiked so yeah I think I'm a fan of the minus 40 though to be honest call me crazy or Canadian one of the two or both they're I guess they're synonymous. Get out of here. Hi everyone. 
I'm back at the house now. Just going through these photos on Emma's 500 year old laptop. Never fails. There's unfortunately lots of hunters at, so I checked the first camera first. I'm going through, um, or sorry, the second camera first. So the camera at the spot with the, the drop time. Um, and I'm looking through those photos and there's all kinds of elk actually, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately it, it looks like most of the photos are just the elk herd traveling back and forth past the camera. And I counted five different people, five different people that were all hunting on that piece of property. And so I don't know if I'll be back next year. I knew that the pressure was just starting to come up a little bit. I think that maybe it's, it's, it was kind of good while it lasted, but maybe that's not the maybe that's not it anymore. Let's pop in the second one. This is the one that I I really hope that uh, nothing was deleted. Let's hope it works. Then this computer just shut down. The one from like 1992. Someone does not want me to see what was on that camera. Just show me the photos. Oh, okay, thank God we have the photos on here. We're going to look right now. Let's hope this computer doesn't crash or I don't get hit by lightning or, or something. 435 pictures, lots of action. That is awesome. Deer already. <laughs> All right, first buck. I'll show you a picture. Check it out. Little baby boy. Little baby boy. He's definitely checking out the, the licking branch though. That's good. Another little buck. Elk. Wow. A whole herd of elk are coming through here. I don't know why there's so many elk. I've never seen so many elk down where we're hunting. And now they're everywhere. Little doe. Another doe. Yep. <laughs> I found him. I found the buck that we got the video of. Oh my. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Six, seven on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a good problem to have when you can't count all the points on one side. <laughs> He's a freaking mammoth. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. That's, uh, this will be wild to see what, this was in January, so this will be insane to see what this guy turns into. He's a shooter. You heard it here first, folks. He is a shooter. I would love to find his sheds. <sighs> Trail cameras are wicked. So we got a good place to start anyway. We have quite a few different deer uh, that we've seen on these trail cameras. We know based on what we've seen in real life last year as to uh, different areas that might be worth exploring this year. Then we're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of scouting which we're looking forward to sharing with you guys. So please like, subscribe, um, follow along with our journey as we continue to pursue a 180 inch white-tailed deer. Check out our hats if you're interested. If not, that's great just to have you along for, for the ride here. So thank you again, uh, and I am looking forward to seeing everyone soon. Bye guys.